Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Enter the Gungeon. We are jumping in once more into the Gungeon. I don't know why I decided to sing this, but apparently I'm stuck like this now. What are we going to start with? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ooh, we started with the Blastmaster. I think this is terrible. <laughs> I think it's meant to be though. I can't remember. Is this the one that's terrible? No, I don't think it is. I think I'm thinking of the purpler. I think this thing's actually like really good, but it's... Yeah, okay. This thing's actually really good, but it's very low range. I was thinking of the purpler, uh, which is the bad one. Ooh, what the hell is this? Um, the toolbox. It's robust. Uh, makes a random object. Uh, a blunt object popular for its usefulness in bludgeoning other people or yourself in the head. Okay. So this can make all number of things. As you can see, we got one of these. So in certain situations, it's going to be useless, but it's very quick charging, which means in some other situations, it's going to be quite good. Making explosive barrels, ice bombs, all manner of uh, useful doodads. Ooh, did not think about the sort of synergistic possibilities of it creating tables, which then synergize with our Table Tech Shotgun. That's actually a very, uh, very intriguing use case. Uh, I will be just spamming it as it's activated, as, as, like, as it's ready. Oh, that was a really bad dodge there. Um, but, of course, it's not always going to make tables. It's not always going to make things that are useful, to be honest, but it can. Do you know what? I need to, like, quit living right now, because I am doing a bad job of it. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of tables that time. I'm not quite sure why it's spawning specifically stone tables. I'm not sure if I'm just getting lucky and it can spawn every table. Yeah, it can because we spawned a coffin. And that's not a table, but it's... Yeah, there you go. Look, we just got three stone tables in a row somehow. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Good stuff. Bit of armor. A key. I likey. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually quite a big fan of the toolbox space part, just as a sort of tie deserve a sort of first few, first few floors sort of active. I think it's going to be pretty decent making tables here and there. Yeah, with table tech shotgun, I think it's actually going to be uh, a very, a very intriguing little synergy. Like it's, it's nothing major. It's, it's kind of only really equivalent to like portable table device, but. It's still an intriguing little synergy we've got going on, to be honest. It's actually quite nice. And we're getting quite a lot of tables. Like, to be fair, though, if you think about all the objects it can spawn, it's got all the barrels um, and then all the tables. There's not really much else that I can think of that it would be able to spawn, to be honest. I do need to stop getting hit, however. I'm getting hit an awful lot right now. I love how good Table Tech Shotgun is, by the way. Like, Table Tech Shotgun is just great. <laughs> Like, the fact that it's got such good homing and then uh, bouncy shots as well. Pretty good stuff. The shots get around. They really do. Right. Let's try not to die. <clears throat> We've taken a bit too much damage already at the moment. Yeah, I am liking this. We're getting quite a number of kills from the uh, toolbox here. Like, look at this, another table. Yeah, it's, it's working out fantastically. I mean, also, not only that, but we're actually creating a decent amount of cover for ourselves within each room, too, which is yet another pretty big benefit. It's, it's all good, is what it is. It's all good. We got two keys now as well. Do we want to go Oubliette? Do I just want to open that green chest? I'm not sure. But yeah, they're gonna say there's gonna be a lot of barrels that are a bit useless. Water barrels, oil barrels, that sort of stuff. They're gonna be pretty useless for us. But at the same time, the fact that we even have a chance to get tables makes it pretty valuable. Or at least I'd say so. Right, what chest we got here? Another brown, okay, because we got another brown chest, I'm gonna go ahead and take this chest instead. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Why, we're just getting various types of uh of boxes we've got a toolbox and now we've got a chest <laughs> various types of containers should i say 
Okay, I did manage to hit the Chancellor there by accident. Do you got to remember I'm having to stick rather close to this guy to get good damage on him? Which isn't ideal. I will say, however, we are getting a lot of damage on him with this toolbox right now. That's an explosive barrel. Careful of that. And, like, a good amount of cover, too. Like, this is actually incredible. Okay, toolbox is, is uh, it pops off. Toolbox can pop off. Ooh, and glass cannon as well. Hello. And we got the synergy as well, at least for a little while. Yeah, do you know what? I can definitely get down with this. I can definitely get down with this. This is a, a very good little synergy here. Uh, let's look for secret room real quick. I'm, I'm fairly confident I can find it this floor. Um, boom, boom, bow. A little hard to find in these custom, uh, these custom rooms, but you know, I'll try my best. I'll blank here. There you go. We got him. I was just about to say, I, I really do wish that wasn't a thing. Do you know how there's like two types of brown chests? There's the regular ones that contain items and guns. And then there's the secret room or like room spawn ones that can give you like casings or health and that's it. Really wish they didn't exist. Really wish they didn't exist. They're just such a bummer. Secret rooms in Gungeon in general are kind of a bummer. Do you know what I need to make? I need to make my um, rare secret rooms mod for Enter the Gungeon. I made uh, I made two rare secret room mods for Binding of Isaac. One for normal secret rooms, one for super secret rooms. It would actually fit very well into this game, making something similar. I don't think they'd end up being anywhere near as varied, uh, just because there's not as many assets to use. But the room creator, or rat as it's known, is currently being updated uh, at the moment to have more functionality and more usability. So maybe if, uh, if that ends up looking good fairly soon, then I could... Uh, see myself to making um, a few custom secret rooms. I think that'd be kind of fun. I think that'd be kind of fun. I just, I kind of forgot as well, by the way, like just, just off topic from what I was just talking about. I kind of forgot Baby Good Mimic copies whatever next familiar you get. For some reason, I just completely forgot about that part of this functionality. Like, I just, I don't know why, but my brain just blanked it completely. Right, let's leave, leave that there. Leave that table there. Get this guy. Oh no, I ran out of ammo. Are you kidding me? Okay, that, that really spoiled my plans there. I had a plan. I was going to use that table to do a good amount of damage to this dude. Oh, for fuck's sake. And then, um... I ran out of ammo. That's what I was going to do there. But... <laughs> absolutely foiled my plans. At least we've got a good starter here. We've got a decent enough starter right now. Got him. Hopefully our shop contains some good stuff too. Wait, I'm kind of hoping we can get a good familiar. Uh, the Gax. Pickaxe shotgun. Gun axe. Uh, advanced pow uh, powder powered mining tech. Only recently developed for use in the black powder mine. I've not actually seen this before. Ooh, okay. So... I'm not sure how I feel about this sound effect. It doesn't sound quite so... Why did I even? Why did I even? Trap rooms aren't necessary to navigate in this game. What are you doing, you dullers? Um, yeah, I, I, it doesn't sound quite so befitting, but it is nice that it does have a custom sound at least. Um, I, I, I'm kind of interested in this. I, I think... That short-range swipe will delete enemy bullets. I'm going to test out that theory now. It does not. Wait a minute. Let me let me test that again. No, it doesn't. Okay. Maybe it just does extra damage then. It, it does pierce. Okay, that's the... Basically, I was trying to figure out like... Oh, shit. Put ammo with the wrong thing. What's the gimmick? Like, what's, what's, the, what's the deal with this thing? And it seems like the deal is it pierces. So you've got a normal regular shot that's like the centerpiece... But then you've also got a short range piercing wave. Kind of interesting. Not the best, but it's not bad. Ooh, we've got the disc gun there. No, thank you. Uh, we'll buy another key, thanks. 
yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a pretty decent room clearer for the time being. It's like it's got really high shot speed and decent range on the regular pellet shot as well, which is very, very nice. I really don't want to get hit. I want to keep my uh, glass one stone for the boss. Extra damage on the glass cannon. I'm guessing the sw if you hit them with the swipe as well, that's really where you're getting most of your benefit with this gun. Wow. <laughs> Just demolished that dude. But yeah, three shot kill at that range. Pretty good. I like it. Uh, I just I just used my thing close to the edge and it spawned the it spawned the coffin at the other side look. Whoopsie. And then we got whatever the hell this thing is. Tablet of Order. Buffs enemies but removes their abilities to call in reinforcements. Ah, okay. This is kind of an interesting idea. So the way this works is uh, the first wave that spawns of, of all the enemies is going to have, like, buffed health. I don't know if they have, like, extra fire rate or damage or anything. I think it's just HP buffs. But um, in that, they um, they no longer spawn reinforcement waves. Do you know how, like, when you use the bracket key and it, uh, it completely stops the... Um, the next wave spawning. It's going to work exactly the same as that. Okay, I've got to be careful here because I don't want to lose my glass cannon ammo. And I am, I am kind of biffing this right now. Okay. I'm so used to the hard mode version of the Beholster where he fires all the shots out. And it just, I can't, I can't bring myself to get used to the normal Beholster. <laughs> We're getting a lot of never named items right now. What the hell? Table. Okay, this is an active. Do we want to trade? Because I think we kind of got past the usefulness of this. Um, in the galaxy at large, nice are considered um, demonstrations of extreme skill. Many bounty hunters, soldiers, and general vagabonds often fog a more effective weaponry in hope of gaining that prestige. Okay, yeah, I'll take this. I know it's not as interesting, maybe, but I'll take it. Have it, rat. You dirty fiend. Right. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, basically, our rooms are going to be harder, but never we're never going to have reinforcement waves, which overall is, is mainly a benefit, because, like, many, many rooms, especially in the later floors, have multiple reinforcement waves, and especially, usually the reinforcement waves are, um, usually the reinforcement waves are particularly, like, they, they, they spawn the harder enemies. The first few waves are normally the easier of the lot. Oh my god, I may have, uh, this is a room that I made. I may, I may be regretting that right now. And you may be able to see why. There you go. But yeah, as you can see, it's uh, meaning rooms are pretty much over straight away. I'm liking this combo of the uh, the knife plus the axe. Getting sort of the double swipe going on. Also means we can hit enemies through walls if we time things right. right use that piercing ability there. Yeah, this is going to make things significantly easier in terms of, like, speeding through rooms. Like, for example, this room here. This room here, the second and third waves are much, much harder than the first. If that's not always the case, but a lot of the time it is. We're going to get off scot-free because a lot of the time... I really like this, uh, this knife. It's very satisfying to use. I'm hoping we get a weapon here because I really need a new gun. Give me the scrambler. Oh, no, do you know what? Bundle of Wands is ace. Thank you. Didn't make it in time for the shop. That's okay, though. Oh, I forgot they exploded, I'm not gonna lie. Whatcha? Oh, hello. Oh, look! Looky, looky, what we've got here. Explosions are the spice of life and death. I'm busy rigging up for a big blast. Listen, pal, I've only got so much patience for blabbermouths. Oh my god, we got a new NPC! 
What up? This guy doesn't have a mat though. He just he's just trading his shit off the floor. He don't care about no mat. So if we get enough, I think we should buy the uh, the void cannon just just to just to say we've used the NPC. And as you can probably already tell by the uh, the wares that NPC was selling, the little bomber, the bomb, and the void core cannon, he uh, sells explosive weapons. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the ammo for this bad boy. This is going to be such a good weapon for um, clearing rooms super fast because there's big enemies which turn them into chickens and then there's no reinforcement waves. Like that. <laughs> no reinforcements means easy breezy. Easy living for us. Ooh, shrine. So this won't work at the minute. There are uh, apparently some bunny from planet side. That's an issue with that. It, there's very possibly a chance that's been fixed already because... I didn't check for updates before I played this episode, so if that has been fixed already, I do apologize. But that is an issue with Planet Side currently on the patch that I'm on. Do you know what? I'm I'm pretty tempted to go into into our thingy room there. But yeah, I'm liking these single way of rooms. Gotta say, I'm liking him. Got you. This should yield us a bit more money. Burning, burning cursed chicken. Oh, there's a. D Is that a double cursed chicken there? Look at this fella. Black as the night. A double cursed chicken. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is an absolutely metal chicken right there. But yeah, rooms like this. This this is clearly a room that has a few waves of blobs. And it's like, nah. Nah, it's got one wave of blobs. Don't know what you're talking about. Making our life a lot easier. Right, do I want to buy the Void Core Cannon? Or do I want to buy a key? I do kind of want to buy a key. But at the same time, this is from a new NPC. So I feel like I have to. I feel obligated. Do you know what? Let's uh, use that Glass Cannon here. We are. I'm getting spicy. I don't know if the swipe actually destroys bullets. I haven't been checking that. Okay, good. Not in a great spot here. Okay, good. Got him. Hopefully we get a key. We did not. We did get the demon head, though. The clash at demon head. I love the animation for that starting firing. That little swirl. So cool. Anyways, down to the next floor. Sorry, chest. You didn't quite make the cut. Didn't quite make the cut. But yeah, it's so cool to see a custom NPC the first time. That's from once more into the breach, but there is likely to be more of them that appear in shops just like that one from Never Named and from other people. I think Never Named added three. I think three. Might be two. I know for sure two. It might be three, though. How did the, all of those hit the wall, then? Stop fucking firming into the wall, you shit. Oh god. Go away, you fiendish block. Okay, I don't think the swipe destroys bullets. I think we already figured that out, didn't we? I'm pretty sure. 
I can't remember, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Where's that ammo? Was ammo somewhere in here? Oh, there it is. Maybe good mimic doing his thing. Doing his thing. It's, it's really throwing me off, like, that I don't have any reinforcement waves anymore. I keep forgetting, like, especially in vanilla rooms where I know that there's reinforcement waves. Like, I'm expecting them, I'm ready for them, and they're just not there. It's weird. It's very weird. Slice. Slice. Oh, when. When you're on the run. Yeah, don't don't try and step to me, boy. How did I not get what how did I not get hit there? What the hell? Ooh, who we got? Hello. I love fighting these custom mini bosses. I mean, I could just absolutely destroy his entire world. Wow, that was not what I was expecting. Oh god! He teleported directly on top of me. Didn't know he did that. I'm having a hard time with this guy right now. I thought I'd be able to absolutely wreck him. I was wrong. Probably a good thing to be honest. I always wreck this guy and it's it's not it's not good. I kill him too quickly. What? Fuck you, blobby boy. Come on now, please die. Oh my, I'm having a very hard time here. There you go. He took a lot longer to kill than the last time I fought him. I'll say that for sure, but we got quite a lot out of this, so I don't mind. We also got the Devolver. Yay, the Devolver. <laughs> now we got a key and we got some ammo, which we'll use to refill our glass cannon. Oh my lord! That scared the ever-living shit out of me. Holy fuck. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. <laughs> oh, I fell off. I didn't realize you could fall off. Oh my god. By the way, if you're wondering who this magnificent man is, this is Apache Thunder, the person that makes Expand the Gungeon. Who the fuck's that in the background? What the fuck? That's never named NPC in the background there. What the hell? Is it? I think it is. There's some... <laughs> some strangeness going on right now. Oh my lord. I cannot describe how scared I was when I entered that room. I knew that room existed. I just hadn't seen it yet. I'm getting hit by so much shit right now. The Devolver's so bad. Right, let's wear out this fella. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> it's been a long time coming for me to find that room. It's been a long time coming. It's been, in, it's been in the update, it's been in the mod for like three months at this point, and I still haven't found it. Get out of here! Get out of here. Go on, get. Go on, get. Get out of here. Oh my god, go. I will slice you. I will cut you. Don't make me cut you. Oh my god, why does it take so long? Thank you. <laughs> oh, warm Nick. I've taken so much damage recently. What is this? Table tech null? I've not heard of that one before. Let's check what it does. Maybe it's like deletes one enemy or something? Um, used to vaporize enemy bullets um, from thin air. What? Is that not just table tech blank? But like, I don't know. It sounds like it's just table tech blank. It probably isn't, but I don't know, it sounds like it. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Table Tech Blanket is localized, to be fair. Maybe it just clears the screen of bullets. Maybe, maybe it just clears the bullets of one enemy? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of unclear. It is a little unclear. Look how easy breezy that room was. You bastard! He just pushed me off. You big shithead. Apache. You fucker. How could you do this to me? I'm actually losing quite a lot of health here. I need to be careful. Look how easy that room was. Ow, I got hit again. Oh my god. Why am I so bad at the game right now? Okay. Keep on moving through. What the heck is this? Kitten bullets. This is from Cake Mod. Uh, as a small chance to transmogrify, your enemy hits into bullet kin. Yeah, that also works. Yep, there you go. <laughs> We're gonna transmogrify things into bullet kins or chickens. Either way, I'm happy. Magazine rack. I kind of think I need to buy the HP. I can't even afford it yet. I mean, I could go and get spin down dice and have some shenanigans with that. Spin down dice is always fun. But I don't really know if I have the HP to support that yet. Right, let's let's do the boss and we'll see how we fare. We do have some glass cannon ammo here to work with. This has to be said to be one of the harder bosses to use glass cannon on, though. Just because of the long reload times and, like, the sort of need to dodge real permanent constantly. I was say permanently. Not permanently. Constantly, should I say. But at the same time, I'm not going to say I'm the ma amazing at it, but I am okay at side scraping bullets and utilizing the fact that I don't need to dodge sometimes. I've gotten better at that as it comes, but I still wouldn't say I'm great at it, but there you go. Proofs in the pudding, I guess. What the heck is this? Fuck of darkness. Temporarily fools the jammed by robing you in the shadows typical of their lord. Uh, also occasionally allows you to, um, allows one to, to themselves become a shadow. What? I don't really understand what that does. I'm guessing it's like invincibility every now and again. It gives us the uh, the the jammed aura. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fight that bitch. Let's go. I do think this floor should have maybe an associated cost because the ability to buy spin down dice is pretty strong, and then, of course, as more things get added to this floor. Oh yes, Cares of Butterfingers on this floor. Amazing. For those of you that don't know, Cares of Butterfingers is um, a little bit saucy. Essentially, when we uh, when we get hit, we drop our shit. <laughs> right, so let's let's drop some stuff that we're not really using. Um, yeah, we'll drop all of that. I mean, these will probably spin out into just other table techs. I'm not actually sure about that, but I think so. But as we figured out, we can uh, spin down quite a lot of things at once, and therefore, we shall. Just when you spin it down, make sure none of the things are on your screen, otherwise it kind of fucks things up a bit. Okay, we got more junk, and it's Junkin. The double Junkin, hello. What spin, what spun down into Junkin? Someone will have to comment down below if they noticed what that was. The turkey as well. I'm glad I didn't pick up turkey first. Um, bamboo. 
Old Goldie's great here. I don't know what that did. Let's check what this did. Uh, the Netherite Chamber. A diamond encrusted chamber plate with metal unique to bullet hell. Its reinforced power calls upon the guidance of the caliber. No idea. It gave me some extra heart containers, I know that. And we also got uh, this thing. And we got this too. I'm going to use this like, probably like three times, I think. It gives us 25% damage for a heart container and some curse. I think that puts us in a good spot. Right, what's this thing? What that is? Underwhelming. I'm, I'm hoping it does something more interesting when it hits the enemy. This is a really fucking cool looking sprite. I just, the, the gun sound plus the like sort of little tiny baby projectile was a little bit of a shock considering the sheer size of this. Who the fuck is this? What in the dickens is going on here? Oh, there goes my gun. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, he's a friend. I see. Can I have my gun back now? In case the Butterfingers got me. This is confusing, but I, I, I assume the Netherite Chamber is what's causing this, because that is a Sun Bunny boss. I, I, I cannot physically understand what's happening right now. There are far too many projectiles on the screen for me to know what the fuck's going on. I'm just going to let this situation kind of take care of itself, I'll be honest. I really want to see this thing actually hit an enemy and see if it does anything interesting. That's a that's a good item to get right there. Oh, it's a mimic, though. And it seems to just be a, a, a like a little, little weedy projectile. It's a very cool sprite, but it's kind of underwhelming to use, I've got to say. I apologize for my insolence, but... It could do it could do with some some pizzazz. God damn it, stop getting hit. Right. So, let's uh let's well it might I I feel like I should at least read the description of this thing before I reroll it. Maybe I'm missing something. Displaces enemies through time Oh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, no, I've got it all wrong. This thing's amazing. I've got it all wrong. This thing's amazing. So this thing, if I remember correctly, it doesn't kill enemies. It deletes them from the current room and places them in a future room. Which is kind of intriguing. Okay, I've got to keep this now just to make sure we actually use it correctly because I feel bad that I dissed on it. It, it could definitely use some projectile work either way, but it's still a very cool gun nonetheless, so I apologize. I spoke too hastily. I spoke too hastily. Um, I, I don't really know what the cloak's doing for me, I'll be honest. Is that all we want? Is that all we want to get rid of? The fuck is this? Okay, so we got the gun thing with 3,200 rounds. The Holy Grail? We have the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail with Ancient Hero's Bandana. Oh, I love the animation on that. Oh god, that's got a, a lure magazine. We got the Fractured Map or whatever it's called. Tattered Map. Tattered math, that's it. Partially reveals the flaw, and then what the hell is this thing? Test jammed bullets. I guarantee this isn't meant to be something we can pick up. <laughs> the king of roundness blesses you. As you are absolved of your sins, bullets resist hitting you. Some call him crowd. Crowned. Wait, am I invincible now? <laughs> Did I just get like a debug thing that makes me invincible? So I just want to go check what's what's going on over here. What's this? It is a secret room. Oh, it's dangerous to go alone. Thank you. <laughs> I 
And the fact that this is called Test... I can't even see the name, but it was, it was called like Test something or other. And it says that it makes us immune to bullets. I have to believe that isn't true, but at the same time, it very well could be. It very well could be. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Curse of Darkness. We're going to be getting a lot of curses now. Yeah, so let's actually use this thing for real. I, I basically completely forgotten what this did because I, um... Because I got it on a, on a room that it wouldn't work on, but it's actually a very cool... You can see, look, hit an enemy automatically deletes them from existence. Oh, can I stop getting hit, please? It's this motherfucker that keeps hitting me. Right. Unlimited ammo guns then, go! Right. This thing has 100 ammo now. Oh, I don't need ammo anymore. I've got a Holy Grail, haven't I? Right, we've got Keyboy. Motherfucking Keyboy. Bap, bap, bap. The D chest could be interesting. Is this the thing we got a blank? Replenishing rolls. Let's give it a heart container. Wait. Did I do this right? I am confused. <laughs> I don't think I did that right. Also, I'm not immune to bullets. We found that out. Old Goldie with 480 ammo. As you can see, there's some enemies in here that aren't meant to be in here. And that is because they've been displaced. I, uh, I vastly apologize, Nevernaunt. Vastly. We have so much damage. And rate of fire too. Our rate of fire is really high. Look at our damage go up with Old Goldie. From 2.04 to 3.22. Oh, we got broccoli there as well. Hell yeah. This partially revealed map thing's pretty cool. There you go. You can see him, the displaced enemy being brought into the room from another. Right. Don't really know what you're doing, fella. I've got to admit. Don't really know what you're doing. Right, I've had my fun with the Displacer Cannon. I'm going to re-roll it. I'm going to keep old Goldie, but everything else can pretty much go. Even bundle of ones this time. Right, we got this thing. A notebook that spawned a book enemy. All right then. The quest log. Another version of the tattered map, but a smaller one. Map fragment, reveals nearby rooms. Nice. Cactus, this. We got demon head back. This thing's intriguing. Makes a lot of noise. Wow. <laughs> this thing could be uh, quite the spicy boy. Oh my god. With the, with the amount of damage we have. This thing, by the way, is meant to be just a lot of projectiles, very low damage. But with the amount of damage we have, it's actually very good. As you can see. God, there's so many enemies. God damn, this display, not displays a thing. The uh, only one wave thing is really carrying us. It's making things so much easier for us. The displacer gun's so cool. I'm a dumbass for thinking it was bad. It, it was just because it didn't have any like 
cool effect when I shot the boss, but then obviously immediately noticed afterwards. Oh, hey. Where's the enemy that's shooting me? Okay, you're there. I got you. Right. We're going to drop some stuff again. Right. Boom, bow. The makeshift cannon. We got this as well. We're getting a lot of uh, active, sadly. Flamethrower. A hand mortar with a synergy as well. The classics. Three ammo on this bad boy too. Hell yeah. Level up, my pretties. Right. Let's try this out with the synergy. See if it does anything cool. Maybe it's just that it explodes on impact or something. Maybe it says it's got three ammo and a clip. I really don't know what the synergy's doing because I've not had the normal version of this. Maybe it just does more damage. It's hard to tell, really. Having a good time, though. We're having a good time. Right. Hello, dragon. How are you doing this fine day? Oh, you survived that, did you? Oh, he, he fights bosses for us. Wait, you survived that too? This guy's a goober. Yeah, this skeleton buddy, he fights uh, bosses with us. And he goes hard. He, he 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 goes real hard. He's giving no shits right now. Why are the bullets so slow? Is it because I can't tell? Is the game lagging or the bullets just moving really slow for some reason? Boom! Bow. Right, let's drop this bad boy. I'm gonna keep the hand mortar, it seems cool. I can't, I'm, I'm pretty sure this spanned down into something good before. It does, it does indeed. And this spawned down into that. Hello. Ooh. I've got to try something now. If I can get the charges for it, I'm going to try something. <laughs> this gun's so cool. Whoa, that's a big wall of bullets right there. Okay, I need to get another charge going. But I've got an intriguing idea. Beautiful. Okay, I did get another charge. Good. Right. What does the bullet that can kill the past spin down into? Oh, no. We're playing as Paradox, so we can't get it. I just realized. That's heckin' sad. That is heckin' sad. Easy. Oh, golden casing. Hello. I got Broccoli's a speed up. Rather nice. More armor for my junk, baby. Right, let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Prime Primer. Hell yes. Give me that Prime Primer. <laughs> Right. Bullet hell we go. 
I'm rather enjoying this run. I'm rather enjoying this run indeed. Cares of Butterfingers? Why? <laughs> Why? I don't think I need to do any of these at the minute, do I? Uh, let's do this. Let's use this thing. Uh, not having additional waves and bullet hell is going to be so heckin' good. So, so heckin' good. Thought I had table tech shotgun for a minute there, but I've got rid of that. That has since been gone. Yeah, yeah. This room's a bit saucy. Oh, these are enemies. I thought they were traps. We good, we good. Right, do we have anything we want to uh, spin down? Uh, I want to spin down the Prime Primus some more, but I can't. I guess they're just the, the blunderbuss and the void weapons, really. They're the last remnants. Disintegrator. Got the alien sidearm again. Use this bad boy. Hello. Yay, my buddy. You're not welcome here, mortal. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am, buddy. You give me a black chest? Hell yes. That's a lot of ammo. Do I need any of it? Probably not. Spin that one down to supply drop. Uh, I kind of want to see what this thing spins down into, I'm going to be honest. Wait, isn't this the one that's meant to bounce? Why isn't it bouncing? I thought this was the one that's meant to bounce. It is! What the heck? What the heck? Okay, there you go. That, that works. Oh, why didn't work last time? Whoopsie. Um. Please don't tell me Butterfeet, Butterfingers activates upon falling in a pit. Did you fucking. It just yeeted a few of my weapons into pits. Okay. I don't, I'm absolutely fine with the fact that Butterfingers can activate in a room with pits and that is part of the worry, you've got to be careful. But the fact that it can activate when you take damage from falling into a pit seems kind of bullshit because you just automatically lose your weapon. <laughs> that doesn't seem great. <laughs> it's not a huge deal, but if, if, it, if, I, if it were me, I would, uh, I would tweak that so that pit damage doesn't activate Butterfingers. Just so you don't have situations where you... Like that, like, I, I, I definitely could have avoided falling in that pit, but at the same time, I also couldn't. <laughs> now, that one I could have avoided. And this time, it didn't actually fall into the pit, which is great. Do you know what? We're not even going to use Fast Cannon. And we've not used the hand mortar much. Let's uh, let's just re-roll them all. What? 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 Oh my god! I pushed that guy right into me. I did find a secret room somehow though. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Oh, 
Oh, it's this. I haven't found that in so long. Hello. I dropped a gun, but I think it went in a pit. Health. Beautiful health. This thing would be so good with, like, magic bullets. Right, let's keep it going. Uh, I got stuck inside it. Fuck. I got stuck in it. Is, um... This is another thing that I want to check as well. Is Curse of Butterfingers a chance to drop your gun on um, uh, taking damage, or do you, do you always drop it? It feels like it's a 100% chance. Like maybe sh it should just be like a 50-50 or something. I don't know. I don't know. Would that be too generous? I don't even know what just hit me then. Oh, you better not drop this in the pit, you fucking asshole. Good. Keep falling in pits. In he comes. Here comes my boy. Enemy shots are extremely slow. And I don't really know why. Gotcha, Lichy boy. Gotcha, gotcha. Why is my green guanso and got stuck to that bullet? I do not know. I uh, do not know. Um, ow. Ah, yes. The nice pinnacle of our run. Getting soft locked in the second phase. I'm fairly sure that's something to do with the spawning animation of this little skeleton dude. Because I feel like I saw him start to spawn in. You can see those little dots circled around me. And uh, for some reason that made me take damage. I'm not on fire or anything. So apparently him spawning in does contact damage to you. And that has... um. That has had an ill effect on the game. This is quite. This this would be quite a cool. Like this would be quite a cool little like movable back. Not what was it called? Like um, animated background, wouldn't it? It'd be quite cool. Right. So, what we thinking then? <laughs> So we just chill for a bit, have a bit of a chat. <laughs> We're a bit stuck, aren't we? Not much we can do. None of the buttons on my controller do anything. Can't even press start. We just fully soft locked. But at the same time, this is, like I said, a very nice background. I might even. If this is like a reproducible soft lock. I might turn off the stats at the left hand side and then record this as just a looping animation to put on like the, the background of my streams because it would actually look really good. It would actually look really, really cool as a looping background, this. I, obviously the character model is a bit in the way. Either way, we're going to end the episode off here because we basically won the run. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I know we're a bit stuck here, but either way, goes as it goes. At least it's not a crash. And I'll see you guys in the next one.